Hey everybody, how are you doing today? I just got out of the grocery store. I have grabbed some buns, cheese, hash browns. We're gonna cook up a good breakfast, make some burgers tonight for dinner. I had plans for the next couple of days, but they've fallen through, so we're gonna make an impromptu trip out to Darlington Provincial Park and see what the night may bring. Anyways, we'll catch you out there. Too bad. Uh, hoping to get one actually. Not particularly. Uh, that works. Yep. Yep. What time is the store open till? I drive long haul, so I've been in the truck for three weeks, so I'm good. Sure. Awesome. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. You too. All right, so let's figure out where site 178 is. Map of all the places. One eight seven. One, seven eight's all the way over here in the corner. So we are currently up here. Follow this way. The store is there. I normally get uh, a patch and a sticker while I'm at these places, especially if I haven't gotten one before. And then we'll go down here, through here, and then down to 178. Patch the stickers from the store. Alright, let's go find camping site 178. But with that being said, I have never stopped to get a sticker or a patch, but I did get a Ontario Parks passport thing uh, this year so I can partially document my travels through all the parks. So that is the plan is to uh, get patches for some sort of blanket or quilt or something and uh, stickers for the book. for 178. I think I have to drop down the 139 side and come back up.
But it's also Wednesday in the middle of the week, so it's not overly busy, which is good. whether I'm going to hang up in a hammock, use my one-person tent, or my two-person tent. I am pretty hungry, so I think I will start with some food, and then kind of explore the park after that. One seven eight, not one eight seven. One seven eight. That's what I'm looking for. It's one sixty six. Should be somewhere here on the right. Thank you, I wasn't in any rush. <laughs> Not the site that I stayed at last time, but I know it is pretty close. Let's go put this on the stump over here. Get ourselves checked into our campsite. Funny enough, my camera is actually overheating in the dash. So I changed cases on it and set up uh, my chair, opened up a cider, and I'm gonna relax. And enjoy the greenery. And because I have two trees, I think I'm actually gonna set up my hammock and I'm gonna hang out in that tonight. So that is the plan so far. Check in with you guys in a bit.
I am currently taking shelter under the tarp in the most unconventional of ways. Waiting for this sun shower to pass by. I was quick, but I was not quick enough. I think I'm going to get a hiking pole for this one. Two pole ends. And two pole bottoms.
anchor it past the camera here. two, three, wrap around the back side to lock it in place. Do another one, then pull it up the line. Put my thumb on it. Wrap it around one, two, three times, and then pull it back through with my thumb create a loop and a slip knot and let that tighten on itself. After that, drive the peg home. You have a fairly tight setup. Now to do that side. Something hard. And down roughly to here. Drop the glasses. Leave the pegs over at the other side. And if you're ever curious as to what pegs I use, they are the Focus Groundhog Minis. There you go, from MSR. Also, since it just rained a few times, the ground is super soft, so they bite and hold really easy. One, two, three. Follow my thumb through, make the loop, pull it tight. And then finish off by driving the peg home. Another pretty decent. If this ever slips up, you can actually tighten it by pulling the knot up this way, following the path of tension. And I've got it on my hiking poles just so I have a little bit more living space underneath. Gives it kind of like a canopy. Yeah, that's basically it set up. Besides unraveling. And the opening's on the wrong side. But it is so quick and easy to fix. And voila! These lines that I'm hooking up now are just punchy lines that keep it more stable than it would be if you didn't have them. Stops you swinging indefinitely.
And there we go. <sighs> Next step, food. So I just finished cooking up the burgers and I am going to let those rest for a little while. I'm going to slice some smoked cheddar here. Get my bun ready, throw some spinach on top, and then have some dinner. I forgot a plate in the truck, so that's been interesting. So I will be using a Ziploc bag as a plate. I have my gluten-free buns. Leftover baby spinach from the truck. And the burgers right here. Voila, dinner. Time to chow down. Well folks, to be completely honest with you, I am absolutely and totally bagged. I am so tired. I am coming off of nights. I had a three hour nap between like 3 a.m. and just before 6 o'clock when I woke up and started the day today. It is 8.30 p.m. now and I'm ready for bed. <sighs> so I will check back in with you in the morning. Um, hash browns, eggs, should be good. See you then. Good night. So I just woke up a little while ago to uh, a couple raccoons or something fighting in the tree line next to me. It is, time is it? 4.30 in the morning. I'm more or less awake, but I'm going to try to get some more sleep, so. Ciao for now. Good morning. It's late in the morning now. I slept in. It's nine o'clock and I gotta be somewhere at 10.30 and I still have to get out of here, get packed up, get a coffee, wake up. Breakfast will have to wait.
Well, that's it for now. I'm gonna pack the stuff up into a bag, shut the camera off, and get out of here. See you in the next one.